What's up, everyone? Coming to you live from my basement and your new digital online learning classroom. Welcome to Mr. Stav's class in my house. Are you excited to learn math? I know you are. Hopefully, you guys are watching in the chat. If not, welcome. Thanks for watching anyways. Uh, we are going to try and keep things as normal as possible. Normal. All right. So, uh, you, I, I want you to have paper and pencil. I know you probably don't have your math books at home, but maybe get a binder together or get something that over the next couple of weeks, months, however long this takes, okay, that you have organized notes, that all of your math notes, okay, will be in one spot, okay? So we're even going to do this, okay? Get your table, make a table of contents. Let me move my screen out of the way, okay? Get your title going. We are talking about volume of a cylinder. Okay. And you'll notice at the top, we got the M. What do you think that's for? Let me know in the chat. All right. Measurement. So this is our measurement unit. Okay. Now you don't actually have the ability to yell at me. Slow down, Mr. Stapp. Okay. So too bad be faster okay so uh, what we are going to do is we're going to do our measurement unit we're going to do volume of a cylinder then surface area of a cylinder okay then depending on the success and everything if we're ready to move forward then we'll go back and do linear patterns because that's the more difficult uh, that I want to make sure we've got a grasp of this whole learning model before we go to that I think you'll enjoy volume of a cylinder I think you'll be very successful at it even at home Okay, and if you're not understanding how this is working, I am live on YouTube at one o'clock every Monday with the math lesson for the week. And what I'll do is I'll share all the resources that we would have done at Guided. Okay, and if you can replicate it at home, replicate it. Do it if you can. Okay, then we'll be running Guided sessions. Okay, I'm going to let 10 people into a chat room and I'm going to walk you through the independent work just like we do at the Guided table. I'm going to help you talk you through the, the EQAO strategies, okay? The point of this is to bring some normal. It's to kind of walk you through some content, okay? I'm going to be skipping the exit ticket this week, okay? It doesn't mean don't learn it. It doesn't mean it's not important. Yes, you need to know this for high school, okay? And so learn it, practice it, complete the independent work, do the math journal, uh, try playing the game if you can, okay? And come to Guided. Let me help you. Okay, are we ready to move on? Let's do it. What do I hold in my hands? Let me know in the chat. Mmm, smell that. Mmm, popcorn. It's delicious. I really wish you were in the classroom and I could share this with you. Sucks for you. Now this is part of the lesson, believe it or not. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to challenge you right now. I got a piece of paper and I'm going to roll it up like this. What shape is that? Yes, I heard you at home. So cylinder, Mr. Staff. Okay, obviously it's cylinder. Okay. So, so we have a cylinder. Okay. And I'm going to put some popcorn into this cylinder. Um, I need tape. Let me get some tape. Not really my classroom with all my essentials. So I'm going to tape the cylinder. Closed. It might be one of my worst tape jobs. Don't tell your parents I use the word worser. That is not a word. Don't tell Ms. White Cow or Mr. McKinnon. Okay, here we go. Boom. I got a cylinder. So what I did was I folded it from the top of the paper to the bottom of the paper. Okay? But now I'm actually going to roll it the other way, the hot dog way. That was the hamburger way. Now I'm going to roll the ham the hot dog way. Some tape. I know 
you're thinking, why didn't Mr. Steph have this prepped? I don't know why either. Good news is, I have popcorn. And it's delicious. Okay. So I'm going to ask you this question. If I create two different cylinders, okay, same size paper, okay, I got two different cylinders. I want you right now in the chat, if you're watching live, I want you to put your guess, okay? We're gonna call this the hamburger, and this is going to be the hot dog fold. Okay, I would like you to make your guess in the chat. Do you think the hamburger fold is going to hold the same amount of popcorn as the hot dog fold. If your answer is yes, then say yes, they'll hold the same. If your answer is no, I want to know which one you think is going to hold more popcorn. Is it the hamburger fold or the hot dog fold? Okay. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to let you put some uh, guesses in the chat. Yeah, you see all around. Normally, if you're in the classroom, I walk around, let you smell it. Um, I'd probably eat a couple of popcorn in your face because that's what I do. You missed me already. All right. Get your guesses in there. I see those guesses coming in. Just reminding you to be awesome today. I need this right now. We are already dipping into our our online classroom. Look at this. That is not stable, Mr. Stan. Fail. Fail. Huh. Can you see that? If I put that there. All right. I'm assuming by now your guesses are all in, and I'm going to pop the popcorn into the tube. Which one do you want to do first? Hot dog? It's a good choice. Okay, now it is going to get a little messy. I'm just going to drop it in. Pause. Eat some. I don't remember it being this hard in the classroom. Now, you can still debate in the chat which one you think is going to hold more, which ones you think is going to hold less. Okay? And if I was at the movie theater, I would want them to stack a couple on top. Oh, all these extras that were. I'll take care of them the work. Mm -hmm. I need a drink. Okay. Our hot dog is full to the top. So now we have the hamburger. Okay, both are cylinders. Both are made from the same size paper. If you're joining us late, we took a piece of paper, we rolled it, Okay, as a hot dog, or as a hamburger, and as a hot dog. And we are comparing to see which one holds more popcorn. So here we go. I have an idea. <laughs> I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to look at that. That is magic. Okay. And I'm going to dump it in to the hamburger. Woo! Every curl matters. All curl matter. Here we go. I've dumped all of them in. It is empty. A couple fell out. Ow. I put my finger in. 
it stops about there. About where? Here. In fact, I can keep loading in some more. Now, you're either being like, what? Or you're like, I knew it. What we just compared is the volume of these cylinders. And what I hope you're thinking is, but how? How is that possible if it's the same piece of paper, the same dimensions? We will answer that question, my friend. Okay, so what we just saw was that the hot dog fold held less popcorn than the hamburger fold. And if you don't believe me, oh no, pour it into the hot dog. And that, my friends, is science and math. I didn't really explain it, so it's not really science. But so now that I made a big mess, I'm gonna clean up my mess. I really wish you guys were here. Somebody would help me clean up and eat these kernels. That I'm gonna have to vacuum up now, and now I'm really thirsty. Eating all this popcorn makes you thirsty. All right. <coughs> Hang up to be awesome today, sorry. Otherwise, we'll forget to be awesome today. So. Why, how, how do we know how much a cylinder can hold? How much, how do we know how much volume or how to calculate the volume of a cylinder? You've been doing volume your whole uh, educational career. You did a volume of a square of uh, a bunch of different shapes. But now we're talking about sil <laughs> ah, ah, a drink for me, because I am thirsty. Just happens to be another circle. What a coincidence, another cylinder, I should say, with a circle on top. Now, we've learned about finding the volume of a circle. Do you remember this? No, you don't remember this. This was like way before you even knew what COVID was, all right? But we have the ability to go back in time. Whoa! Do you remember this? We talked about how many uh, square units and you estimated that there was four full ones and those ones were kind of full, so that's like 12. Uh, but then there were still four more. That brought us to 16, but clearly that's too much. And so we estimated and we talked about area equals pi times r squared. And then we didn't need that x that times sign, so we just did pi r squared. Whoa, Mr. Stab, I don't remember this. I don't remember this. Well, you need to remember it now, right now, right now, right now. Now, do you remember it? Okay. All right. I would recommend writing this down just to remind yourself. Okay. Finding the area okay, of a circle. Okay. The formula was pi r squared. Okay. Can we plug that in. Remember that pi is always 3.14159. That's the way we calculate pi. Okay. The radius is the distance, half the distance of the circle, checking that yellow line. Okay. I keep wanting to point at it, but you obviously couldn't see it if I pointed at it. So oopsies. Okay. Um, and then we remember that two to the power of two is two squared, not two times two. Well, in this case it is actually. Okay. So we follow bed mass and we get to 12.56 square units. Okay, we all remember this. This McKinnis class, we actually had a, a little competition there. In my class, we talked too much, so you didn't get that competition. 
right. I'm looking at you. Okay. Uh, I'm going to skip all this. So now let's talk about a cylinder fast because I really want to drink this because that popcorn has made me really thirsty. Okay. If I was to hold on. get my saw. All right. And I'm going to cut off the top of this uh, pop can. Okay. Here we go. Now, don't, don't try this at home. I am a trained professional. Okay. And with the magic of, well, our online classroom, there's the top. If I cut off the top, this is the top. I lose all these slides. Come on. Okay. You can find the area of this circle. Okay. That's what we did before. That was the pi r squared. Okay. So let me ask you, if I turn it like this, how much pop could this pop can hold? If this was a can of pop. If one of your friends went to uh, Pizzaville for lunch and brought you back this pop, would you be happy with how much you had to drink? No. Okay. Why? How much can this hold? What volume can this cylinder hold? Okay. None. Zero. Nada. Don't even, don't even joke. Okay. But let's, let's talk about why. Let's talk about the formula of this. Okay. And so write this down. This is really super duper important. Okay. Not the saw. The saw is not important. Okay. The volume for, the, the formula for finding volume is pi r squared times height. Now this is just like all of the previous times where you've added that third dimension in. Okay. That third dimension going from finding the surface area and now adding the third dimension of height. Okay. Similarly, this is in years past, you found, oh, you can't see that. We need a darker color, Mr. Stout. found a square and you can find the area of it. Remember, how do you find the area of a, of a square? Length times width. Okay. And then to find the volume of that, we add that third dimension in. That third dimension being height. Okay. So here we are. We find the surface area of the circle and then we multiply it by its height. So looking at this can, volume equals, remember, working vertically and we're stacking our equal signs. Keep our equal signs straight or you lose half mark and then you get mad at me. That's not my fault, it's your fault, okay? We type in the numbers that we know. So we know pi is 3.14159, okay? And we know the radius from all, previously I showed you was two units, okay? So I'm putting in two. Okay, and then what is the height of this cylinder? Remember, I just cut it off the pop can. Okay, it's zero. There is no height to this pop can. Okay, and if you got this from Pizzaville, you'd be very mad and you would want your money back. It is not worth a dollar fifty or whatever they charge you. That they should probably charge you less for. Okay, so let's do the math. We we follow bed mass, so we have to do the exponent first. Two times two is four. Okay, and then we follow bed mass again. We do our multiplication. Okay, and ultimately you're sitting there yelling at the screen, saying, "Mr. Stav, just move on," because anything times zero is zero. The volume of the lid of the cap is zero. This can hold no pop in it. Are you with me? 
If you're with, if you're in the chat, you're watching live, let me know that you're with me. Say, I got it, Mr. Stav. Got it. Got it. Good. Okay. Now, talk about losing marks. I'm not giving you right now, but that's okay. We'll talk about that anyway. Area is units squared and volume is units cubed, right? Or to the power of three. Why? Because we have three dimensions. We have one, one, two, and three. Okay, one, two, and three. Length, width, and height. Height, not height. That's not a thing. Okay? So we have three dimensions. We have, um, well, it's kind of a little different, but it's so cool. Okay? So your answers are always going to be in units cubed. The volume of this cylinder is zero units cubed. Okay? So let's get our saw back. And instead of sawing the top off, okay, now let's saw here, okay? Let's go ahead and saw that off. And I actually don't have any more uh, examples because that was as far as I got. So let's say now our, our height is one unit. So let's pop in the numbers we know. We know pi, we know radius. But now let's say our height is one, okay? I hope you're writing this down. I hope you're following along. Okay, practice, 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 practice. You will be fine. Okay? Follow our bed mass. We have to do exponents first. Okay? So 2 times 2 is 4. Then we can do all the math. Okay? So this is not the full can. Remember, this is just the partial can. This is just up to there. Okay? So our answer is 12.56 times 1. Volume equals 12.56. Full marks. Please yell at me in the chat. What am I missing? What am I missing? Yell at me in the chat. Yes, thank you. Units cubed. Okay. Question here. What if I put units squared? Wrong. What if I put units? No square, no cubed. Wrong. What if I don't put my units? Wrong. Okay. It's got to be units cubed. Wrong. That's actually, that's right. I apologize, that was weird. Okay. Okay, now you try this one. I'm going to wait a little. I'm going to give you a little bit of wait time. Okay, going to cut off a little bit more. Okay, so started here at zero height. Now, and then we moved to here to one height. And now I'm going to move a little bit further down the can. Okay. So the height now, let's call it two. So we always start with our formula, formula first. Okay. Now, I know that uh, Karan is sitting watching this video yelling at me saying, Mr. Stav, you don't need this. Stop putting this in there. I agree with you, Karan. My bad. I apologize. Uh, that shouldn't be there. You guys should just be writing pi r squared h. Okay? You should just be writing that. Yeah, I put it in there for the lesson, and I didn't take it out. Okay? So we have 3.14 times 2 to the power of 2, because... The radius has not changed, okay, but now we're making it a little bit higher, okay? Two units, okay? I'm gonna wait a little, and I'm gonna let you go ahead and do this. I'll wait. Ready? If you're not ready, if I'm going too fast, this video will be available all, for all week. Okay, it'll be at mrstab.ca slash math. You can watch it again and again. You can fast forward your favorite parts. You can rewind, you can pause, you can play it again. Okay, this is a lot different than normal school. You can actually rewatch my lessons, which I know you would love to do. Okay, so. We need to follow, expo uh, follow our bed mass first. There's no brackets. So there's brackets, but there's nothing to do in those brackets. There's no functions. Okay. So we do our exponents. Then we move ahead to our multiplication. Just have, could I not just type in to my calculator 3.14 times 4 times 2? Yes. Yes, you can. Okay. You actually don't need that extra step. Okay. 
So our volume, hopefully you got this, is 25.12 units cubed. Let's ensure nobody messed up. Okay. So let's skip ahead and let's do the whole pop so I can drink it because I'm still really, really thirsty. Okay. So the height of our pop can from the top to the bottom is nine units. Go. You calculate the volume of our said pop can. What's the first thing you do? Do it. Oh, that tastes so good. Okay, so you start with the formula, then you plug in what you know. Okay, our height is nine units this time. Okay, and if you're wondering, these are not accurate measurements of the pop can, I will leave that for you on a later question. Don't mention it, you're welcome. Okay, go ahead without me. You know, just kind of raise the head here. Again, you can always go back and you can watch this and you can pause it. And you can take all the time that you need. Okay. So the answer is the volume of this pop can before Mr. Staff started to drink it is 113 units cubed. Now I know you're thinking, I see, I see, I hear you, Carly. How much is the volume now that Mr. Dr Mr. Staff drank some? <laughs> What volume of pop is in here? That's a great test question. Thank you for bringing that up. But for now, we move on. So, very important. I, I hope by now you've learned this, you've memorized this. Put it big in your, uh, in your notes. Moses, I don't know how big you want to put it in your notes, but just be reasonable, okay? Um, Volume equals pi r squared times h. And for Quran, get rid of the time sign. He doesn't want to see it. Meher doesn't want to see it. We do not want to see it. Zane is okay seeing it, but that's okay, Zane. It's gone. There it is. That, my friends, is the lesson. And that's kind of hard to remember. I know you're thinking, this is now by the time we get back and you give us a really hard test, I'm going to have forgotten this formula. And I, 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 I could appreciate that. So, I actually have a riddle for you from a past student. See, I will remember you people. Okay, so, did I ever mention to you that I like pizza? I do, I do. Believe it or not, I do. I love pizza. I. I Guilty, I like pizza. So, here's a pizza question, and uh, I think I my big head is in the way, so. How do I get my pointer back I'm on my pointer? There we go. Let's move me down here. Okay, so here's your riddle. A pizza has a radius of Z. So what we're gonna do is let radius, use it, the variable, instead of using R, I want you to use it as Z. And instead of height, I want you to use, instead of H for height, I want you to use A. Do you, do you understand me? This is confusing, it's a riddle. Okay, a pizza has a radius of Z and a height of A. Use these variables and figure out what is the volume of a pizza. Are you ready? Figure it out. If you're watching live, the first person to write the formula or the volume of a pizza in the chat, in the chat, I will give you 200 classroom dollars. I will do it, I will do it. The very first person to put the answer to this riddle, 
A pizza has a radius of z and a height of a. Use these variables to find the formula or the volume of a pizza. Go. Cheers. I'm liking this online learning thing. It's really comfortable. I never sit this much during the lesson. Okay, for those people that are not watching live, this is boring, so I am going to scoot ahead. And congratulations to those people who got it. Congratulations. I will deposit some money into your bank account. And uh, bet, bet. let's go. So here is the answer to my student's riddle. And yes, the student got an A and got bonus marks because uh, obviously I love pizza. So they win. So volume equals pi r squared h. This is the formula for volume. But this riddle says instead of r, use z. So we have pi z squared. And instead of h, what are we using? A. Good job. Do you see it yet? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, you don't see it. You don't see it. So here's what we got to do. What's the other way we could write pi? Yeah. And then we have times z times z because z squared is just z times z times a. Ladies, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, get rid of those time signs and the formula for volume of a pizza is pizza. Drop the mic, baby. Oh, snap. Oh. I wish you were in the classroom at this very moment to see the mind blown look on your face that the volume, the formula for the volume of pizza is Pizza, did you know all year long that pizza would become a math formula? This is huge. This is huge. Ladies and gentlemen, the volume of a cylinder. If you can't remember the formula, just remember that Mr. Staff likes pizza and you will remember this formula. This is huge. I know what you're thinking. This is most, the most food Mr. Stav's ever had during a lesson. Why not some more? <laughs> Another cylinder. Crazy. So let me ask you if a can of Pringles has a di diameter. What the heck is a diameter? Hmm. The difference between diameter and radius. I don't remember. Let me know in the chat. A can of Pringles has a diameter of seven centimeters and a height of 24 centimeters. What is the volume of a can of Pringles? Now, just to prove that this is a real can of Pringles, I will test a chip for you. Mm. That's a real can of Pringles. I hope you're not watching me eat these Pringles because you should be doing your math problem right now. Start with the formula. Plug in the numbers you know. Bed mass, bed mass, bed mass. Don't forget your units. I need to go exercise. This is too much junk food. <coughs> wow. <coughs> so if we were at Guided, we would highlight the important parts. Diameter. This is important. It's not radius. It's diameter. Okay? 
we need to highlight seven centimeters because that's important. And look at this, I even animated it in for you guys. Okay. How do you find the radius? Well, we divide the diameter in half because diameter is the full way across. Mm -hmm. And radius is only for that little dot in the middle. Okay, halfway. Okay, so we just divide that diameter in half. Seven divided by two equals 3.5 centimeters. I now have the radius. Okay, and a height of 24 centimeters. Okay, <laughs> gotta put in your formula volume equals pizza or the boring way by r squared h. I like pizza, personally, myself. I think you do that. Type in the numbers you know. Right? So we know 3.14159. We know that the radius is 3.5. And I'm telling you here, this is going to be your number one mistake. Okay? This is how I get you. This is my job is to, to trick you. Okay? I'm going to give you diameter, and I'm going to slip it in there and hope that you forget. And then when you get the answer wrong, you'll be like, ha ha, I tricked you. You put in the radius, or you put in the diameter, not the radius. Hey, you got to remember the diameter does not equal the radius. They're not the same thing. You will get the wrong answer. Okay? Hey, follow your bed mass. You have to do the exponents first. So 3.5 times 3.5. Here's another major misconception. Okay, well, people will do 3.5 times 2. That is not right. You cannot multiply by 2. It is by itself twice. Okay? So, I am in the way, personally. Let me move me out of the way. And there's your answer. Hopefully you got that while I was eating chips and drinking pop and delaying to give you time to finish this question. That, my friends is the lesson okay what you learned today is that finding the volume of a cylinder is easy because you already learned pi r squared okay you already learned about pi you already learned about all that okay understanding that we multiply by the height that third dimension of height and that this has no height and so it has no volume no pop want to rip off okay we learned the formula is pi r times the third dimension of height. Okay. So here we had a square and we did the third dimension. And now we have a circle, find the surface area of a circle. And you're adding that height to it. That's the lesson. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope it made you hungry. I hope you're not eating healthy. I hope you're doing all your physical activity and hitting up mrstab.ca slash links for some physical activity exercises because it's important. Um, let me explain a couple of things. Um, I'll post this game. I don't know how you'll play it in your house. I know all year long you were looking at this giant pizza at the top of our um, – of our classroom right above the screen. I know you're thinking, no, I remember. I saw it all year long. That's right. All year long, the riddle was actually here. Okay. Volume equals pizza. And so how we were going to play this game, I had printed this out uh, pretty big. And so what I'll do is I'll post it so that you can print it out at home. You can tape the papers together and make a nice game board about the size of what we have in the classroom. Okay, and uh, we we're going to take bean bags. Yes, we were actually going to throw bean bags in math class. That was what we were going to do. So you would take turns in your group and you would throw a bean bag and you would try to land it on either a pepperoni or a bacon. All right, so this is a pepperoni and this is a bacon. And if you look at the shapes, Mr. Stab, you think of everything. Right? We have the circle, which represents the top, and the bacon, which represents the height measurement. Okay? So there, I threw it and I got a pepperoni. So I got two centimeters as my radius, 
Now take note, this is a radius, whereas this one is a diameter. Okay, and then I'm gonna toss it, and I'm gonna get a bacon. So let's say I got 21.5 centimeters. Okay, and then you're going to do the math. And then the point of the game was to, to compete as a group, to throw beanbags, and then see who could make the largest cylinder out of their measurements. Uh, it's actually really fun. Uh, we love it, mostly because we're standing and throwing beanbags in math class and doing math with it, so it's fun. Um, so I'm sorry you have to miss it. But I, I think you can play it against your parents. You can play it against your little brother and sister. They can throw beanbags, and you can do the math. Sounds like fun to me. Okay, or you can both throw beanbags and you can do the math. Okay, the idea again is just practice, right? It's just practice, 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 practice. Okay, calculate as many cylinders as you can of different sizes and get good at it. Okay, so there's me explaining it. I'll move my camera out of the way. Okay, so this person got a radius of two squared and they got a bacon of 4.3. So the height was 4.3. Follow the um, follow your bed mass, and they got 50.03. And then the opponent would go, and so on, and so on, and so on. Okay. Are we all cool with that? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on there. This is how I finish my lessons. This is your exit ticket. This is tell me that you know how to do it. It's just four practices, okay? Take the time, do it. I'm gonna leave it up for a couple of minutes, but truly this video is gonna finish and this will be the last thing you see. So you can just pause it and go back to it, okay? If you are watching live um, and you don't wanna risk losing this picture right now, take a screenshot. If you don't know how to do that, learn. Sorry, it's not very helpful. But I don't know what device you're watching on. Uh, I could be watching most likely on your Chromebook, but. I forget how to do that off the top of my head. So I hope you enjoyed our very, very, very first online lesson. We are 39 minutes and uh, we ate Pringles. We drank grape crush and we have popcorn. I would say that's a fun math class. So, um, Oh, there they are. You can see them there. I, I will hang out in the chat for a little bit. If you do have questions, I am happy to answer them. Uh, if you do not have questions, I cannot, I cannot answer no questions. That's, um, I am currently looking for the diagram that I sent to you on Remind. Here comes, there goes. Okay, so you're looking now at the diagram. So right now, this is the one o'clock YouTube live math lesson. Okay, maybe it's, you're not watching live and you're watching it Tuesday morning, okay? So what I have done is I've created guided times for you, okay? I tried uh, last week or a couple of weeks ago, I did a, an online group chat and it was it was a little tough having about 30 or 40 of you in the in the, uh, the online session. So I wasn't really able to target people. So what we're going to do is cap it at 10 people. Okay. So you do not have to attend these. Okay. If you're like, Mrs. Dev, I got this. I'm good. Okay. That's fine. You do not have to attend them. I'd like you to attend them just so that we can hang out and say hi, that you can hang out with nine of your buddies. Okay. You do not have to attend in your homerooms. Okay, so it doesn't have to be 10 people from Mr. McKinnon's and 10 people from Mr. Staff's. Okay, this is kind of cool. You're, you'll get to do math with other grade eights. Okay, so uh, sign up. If you're like, Man, I don't care what time, then just pick one. Okay, the way you do that is go to bit.ly slash stav online guided. No capitals, no spaces. Bit.ly slash stav online guided. You go there, you fill in, uh, and then uh, you'll check out mrstab.ca slash math when it's your turn to come on for your guided group. And um, you'll find the Google Meet link there, okay? 
and then you just join, okay? Uh, I will have posted the, um, the independent work, and we are going to go through that like we would at a normal guided session, okay, in class. Okay, and if you have other questions that came up, um, maybe you were like, Mrs. Dad, why did you choose group grape pop and not orange? These are important questions that you can ask me at Guided. Okay. Um, if, if you're confused after today's lesson, that is my fault, not your fault. Okay. Don't, do not, do not, do not be stressed. Okay. Do not feel overwhelmed. Come to math. Come to the Guided group. Okay. And then let me help you. And if, if other guided groups are not full and you wanted to come for a second guided group, come, okay? You can come as many times as I have openings, okay? Um, so hopefully this all makes sense. Hopefully this is helpful to you. And hopefully it breaks, you can go get your parents off, off your back. Like go do something useful, okay? Um, so mrsdab.ca slash math. Uh, you'll find the math game that you can play at your house. I don't have bean bags. Find something. Roll up some socks and throw them. I don't care. Like, just throw something. Have some fun, right? Play math. Play games, okay? Um, print the independent work. If you don't have a printer, then just read it off your screen and then write it on a piece of paper, okay? Mr. Stab, do I have to hand in the independent work? No. Then why, do I, why would I even do it? That's up to you, really. This is your education. At this point, we're just kind of educating you, and you're actually just trying to learn and gain the knowledge so that when you get to high school next year, you'll be good to go. Okay? So this is kind of this is a you thing, right? I'm not going to be holding you accountable this week. This is you need to hold yourself accountable. Okay? I would recommend going ahead into your math journal and doing the math journal. Okay? Um, again, Mr. why would I bother doing that? That's on you, okay? Doing the math journal helps you to understand if you get it or you don't get it, okay? Uh, if you join me live, shout out uh, in the in the chat. I really I really enjoy the fact that we get to hang out uh, while I'm teaching, okay? So if you aren't watching live this week, that's okay. I, I don't think less of you. I think you're a cool person still, okay? But I hope that you would plan, if you can, to free up some time uh, one o'clock Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays to, to join us for the live premiere of these videos. Uh, just a more fun community. We can joke around. We can have some fun. Uh, you can ask questions, uh, and I can kind of be there for you uh, in these um, in these learning times. Okay, so try to make that work if you can. If not, I'm not judging you. Okay, I don't hate you. Okay, uh, so with that, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, parents, for allowing them to join us. And uh, if your parent is a frontline worker, if they're a nurse, a doctor, um, a police officer, uh, please tell them thank you for me. Thank you for my family. Um, I, I can't imagine what some of you are going through and the fear um, that you live with every day. Um, we appreciate so much what you are doing. And um, all I can say is, I'm trying to do my part staying at home. I've left the house uh, twice since March break um, with legit trying to, to help out in that way. So uh, thank you for everything that you do. Parents, for all of you that have been managing and trying to keep your kids busy, uh, I feel you. I've got my, my two little ones and they keep me very, very busy. So uh, uh, thank you for your understanding as, uh, as I try to figure out this online thing. And if things aren't working, uh, don't send me an angry message, but send me a message and say, hey, maybe we could t tweak this or change that. Um, okay. Thank you very much. I will see you at your guided time. Okay. Or maybe I'll see you at the science lesson on Wednesday. All right. Peace out, everyone. I need like theme music. Peace.